I'm curious now. I would like to be able to see what they do if I was to eat in the restaurant. The restaurant, the fire hall, right? Do you get bigger portion of the sides? Are there lemon wedges or lemon juice? It's another Friday in Lent, as I'm sure you can tell by the ominous gray sky above me. I'm dodging yet another snowstorm, but before the snow arrives, I'm gonna check out the fish fry here at Kenilworth Fire Hall. Now I did Kenilworth the first year on the channel when it was all takeouts, and I remember talking about how small the portions of the sides were. You know, these small little cups here of the sides, right? I need more than that, right? I need more than that. So we're gonna give it another shot here. We're gonna eat inside. How does it match up inside versus takeout? Let's find out. <laughs> Okay, so here's the menu here at Kenilworth. They have the haddock fish fry, which includes potato salad, coleslaw, fries, and a roll, no substitutions. They also have a shrimp dinner, a chicken finger dinner, and beverages, including beer, water, and pop. And coffee are $2, so it's 16 for the dinner. Okay, so here's our dinner. It came really quickly. We got our beer battered fish, french fries, potato salad, coleslaw, a roll. All right, so here's that fish. You can see how big and meaty it is. The breading is adhering nicely to it. It's very hot. There's a lot of steam pouring off. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste this and see what I think. Yeah, that fish is super flavorful. The beer batter comes through really strongly. Uh, the fish is hot and, and moist all the way through, so but it's not too moist where it's making everything really uh, oily and, and damp on the plate. The breading's adhering nicely to it. Perfect fish flavor, perfect temperature. Can't complain. All right, here's that coleslaw. Looks very creamy. Definitely got a strong vinegar uh, uh, smell coming off it. I do think I have mayo too. Yeah, we're going mayo vinegar mixing together here. You got the finely chopped cabbage, got some carrots. So we'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's, it's very good. I don't think it's homemade. I think it's the stuff you might get like a Gordon food service or something like that out of a can, which is perfectly fine. No problem with that. But it's cool. It's the right temperature. It's creamy. Have that nice bite from the vinegar. Go ahead and then uh, try that potato salad. All right, there's that potato salad. You got the big chunks of potatoes. Looks like there's some other things inside there. Maybe some peppers or something like that. Carrots, perhaps. Hard to tell. I think it's peppers. But we're gonna go ahead and give this potato salad a shot as well. Potato salad is good. It tastes like it's a mayonnaise based potato salad, which is good. I don't think this one's homemade either, but again, I'll always double check before I leave. And I'm pretty sure those are peppers and things throughout, but um, definitely pretty darn good. Now we'll try out the french fries. Remember, last week, no fries, and I had a poll up on my page. Our french fries are an essential element of a fish fry. So this week, we have french fries and these definitely look like your standard variety i got these in the freezer and i threw them in the deep fryer french fry you know, they don't look like anything special and they aren't anything special they're just your standard run-of-the-mill bland french fries so i stand by what i say the fish fry does not need the french fry the other salads are much better than the, than the french fry but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my meal and then I'll come back to you a little bit later with my final thoughts. And that would be a clean plate. Now on to the review. All right, we are back in the car after sampling the Kenilworth Fire Hall fish fry. And what do I think? I still think what I thought a few years ago that that fish that they provide is really excellent. The overwhelming positive is the fish. It's definitely the best piece of fish that we've had so far in these three weeks. It is a top-notch fish. The beer batter flavor definitely comes through on every bite that you have. It is moist. Uh, it is always really, really thick in its pieces. You don't have just sort of like little pieces of crumbly fish or whatever. You have nice, meaty pieces of fish. So I don't think you can go wrong there with their fish. Now, the sides, now there is definitely more than what I got a few years ago when I had the takeout containers, but I still think they could give you a little bit more of the potato salad and the coleslaw. They certainly give you a lot of french fries, but I would much rather have a few more of the sides. Now, I did go back and double check 
to see how much I paid for this dinner in 2020 when it was a takeout and how much I paid for it tonight. So first thing I want to say is that my drink was included. It's only $2 for beer, which I think is actually a pretty decent deal. So the pop was included. So it was $16 altogether with the drink. When I bought that same meal and I didn't have a drink in 2020, it was $11. So that shows you how, uh, how, how much these dinners have gone up since 2020 from $11 and nothing was added to 16. It's a big jump. What did I think about the rest of the items that were given to me? I thought the French fries were, were basic, nothing to write home about. I certainly wouldn't rank them up there as the best French fries I've ever had. The sides themselves, coleslaw and the potato salad, I don't think they were homemade. I wasn't able to verify that, but just based on the flavor, they certainly taste like the ones you buy in the big cans, like the Gordon Food Service or something like that. Not a problem, just noticeable that it's not the same as when it's a homemade side. So I think the homemade coleslaw that I had last week at Elwood was better than any of the sides that I had today, but it was still overall really good. So with that said, I have to give it my ranking. Now, when I ranked it back in 2020, I was doing a different ranking system, so I gave it a 91 and a half, a 91.5%. That's what I what I gave it. Now I'm only doing it out of 10, so that would, you know, I like to round up, so that would equate to a 92. So last week I paid $15 plus a dollar to get a drink, so it was 16 and it had two sides, no french fries and a dessert. This week I also paid 16, but it included a drink, which was coffee, water, or pop. Plus it had that extra side, which were french fries, but no dessert. However, the fish here at Kenilworth was definitely better than the fish that I had at Elwood. There was more uh, coleslaw and potato salad than there was when I got it in 2020 for the takeout, so that's a plus. And french fries, you know, I, I really just feel like that's part of the equation here. You get french fries, so they're there. So I definitely think the store is not going down at all. In fact, it's probably going up a little bit. If I'm going to award Kenilworth, not a 91 and a half, and not a 92. I'm going to give it a solid 9.3. A 9.3. I really enjoyed the atmosphere there. The staff that were working there, or the volunteers that were working there, super friendly always around asking how your dinner was. I asked them on the way out, you paid for your dinner when you left, they gave you a little receipt. I asked them how many meals they expect to serve. Last week they did 400 and they vary, they say anywhere from 400 to 800. The weather has been a little rough first couple weeks here. So they haven't maybe had the foot traffic they normally get, but 400 to 800 dinners. That's really great. Many of the things that weren't included in the takeout, I got here. So they didn't have a lemon wedge last time, didn't have lemon juice, didn't have ketchup, I didn't have anything in there. On the table, you saw that they had all those condiments. You had tartar sauce, ketchup, salt, pepper, butter, lemon juice. Everything was in there. The white bread, eh, you know, whatever. I would have preferred the, the rye bread, but still overall, the dinner, a solid 9.3. You can't go wrong between either Elwood or Kenilworth. Elwood's only one time out of the year, so if you miss it, go to Kenilworth. Otherwise, go to Elwood for theirs, and then you can finish up at Kenilworth the other weeks of Lent. So two great fire hall dinners right down the street from each other. Well, that's going to do it for this week's fish fry review. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you want some more videos, check out these ones up here. There's other fish fry videos. It might even be a camping video or two. If you like camping, the outdoors, and exploring, check out those too. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.